Hi guys, I'm Lori. I'm David. And this is Mermaid and Jedi Adventures. Today on Mermaid and Jedi Adventures, we're going to be doing a DIY uh, Disney treat. So one of our favorite things to uh, have at Walt Disney World is the cream cheese, the, or the sweet cream cheese um, stuffed pretzel. So it did go away for a little bit and now it's back. Uh, you can get it at the Lunching Pad in Tomorrowland in Magic Kingdom. So you can definitely look up a recipe on how to make uh, pretzel dough if you would like to do this from scratch. I am doing the cheaters version and using this pizza dough, which I've used for savory uh, pretzels in the past. I don't know how it's gonna be with a sweet one, but we're going to maybe do a little bit of cinnamon sugar on it to kind of sweeten it up. So you'll need one container of the uh, Pillsbury or whatever store brand uh, pizza crust, an eight ounce container, 250 grams of cream cheese. Uh, you're going to be needing some Splenda or some sugar, depending on if you want to use Splenda or sugar. We may use a combination of both. And then for the outside, uh, since we'll be doing a little bit of a cinnamon sugar, I've got my cinnamon here, and then we'll either use some Splenda or some sugar on the outside. And one of, the, one of the last ingredients, which is kind of a weird one, is baking soda. So when you're making pretzels, uh, you want to use a baking soda bath. It's just uh, about a half a pot of baking soda water, so half a pot of warm water, warm to hot, not boiling, but quite warm, and then put two tablespoons of baking soda in it, and then just dip your formed pretzels in the water for about a minute to two minutes. It just sort of gives it makes the outside of the pretzel kind of crispy and the inside kind of chewy. So it works really well. So you do this process just before you pop them in the oven. So you'll also need for your implements, um, I just have a bowl and a spoon and a fork here uh, just to whip up my cream cheese because we're doing kind of a smaller batch. If you're doing a large batch, if you have a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you could certainly use that to make the cream cheese filling. I also have some parchment paper to cover our baking sheet. A rolling pin just to um, roll out the pizza crust a little bit uh, to make sure that it's the right amount. You'll also need a knife to cut the pizza crust into strips. And then we also have a baking pan off to my left here and then a big pot to fill up with warm water and baking soda. So as we get everything started here, let's get the warm, uh, the water on the go here. So fill up your pot halfway and get the water warm and then put two tablespoons of baking soda. In the meantime, we'll get the crust all rolled up. Okay, so now I've got the pizza dough all out on the table. The good thing about pizza dough is that it's all kind of ready to go. You just need to do a little bit more of the rolling it out. So what you're looking for is basically like a good 18 inch uh, strip of dough. Okay, let's start with this part and you roll the rest later. So, get your knife, just cut. I'd say maybe about an inch and a half or so. Just so you can get that cream cheese in there. An inch and a half to two inches maybe. It kind of depends on how big you want your pretzels. Skinny, so I'll call this one just in case. Okay, so now that we have our strips, there we go. Uh, just make this pull this out a little bit. Okay, now that we have our strips, we're just going to put our cream cheese filling. Um, along the center here. So just get your baggie and we will pipe it out. Okay, so now we have our little uh, makeshift piping bag here. 
So try not to get too much or else it's going to goosh out when it cooks. So just try and do a line of cream cheese along the center. Maybe leave it a little bit of, uh, oops, a little bit of space. Let's put that one here. So we'll do, oh my goodness, that's fine. Now that's the thing with recipes. Sometimes things don't turn out exactly the way you would like them to. Uh, so we're just going to do another one here. We'll line of cream cheese. And we're going to sort of take your dough and sort of bring it up around the icing. And just pinch it shut. Kind of pull and pinch. Pull and pinch. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling. You want to zoom in, cameraman? <laughs> right? So I'm just taking the dough from each side and I'm pulling it up and just pinching it at the top. So you're just locking that cream cheese right in the middle there. Okay. Zoom out. That's good. So once you have your dough all sort of pulled and pinched, just for extra sort of security for your dough, stick down, pinch to the end, pinch just down to the end, just sort of pinch it along, pinch the ends closed, and then just kind of roll it a little bit just to kind of get that nice round dough back and kind of center everything. So there, you'll have your round piece here. So I'm just gonna seal up a couple other pieces and then I'll show you sort of how to make the pretzel shape. Okay, so once you have all your little guys rolled up, or you can certainly do this one, at a t one strip at a time too, it might be a little bit easier so things don't get melty. You're basically just taking your dough, making a U shape, and then crossing the ends over once, twice, and then folding these edges back here. Just kind of tucking them over and then sort of flipping them over. And there is your little pretzel shape there. So you do that with the rest of your pretzels and then you will be popping them into the boiling water with the baking soda in it for a minute and then putting it on the baking sheet. Okay, so just for the ease of filming, we just have this hot water with the baking soda in it on the table here on a little hot pot there. Um, but you can certainly just do this on the stove top as well. I just thought it'd be easier to do this to bring this to the camera versus bringing the camera to the stove. So I wet my bagel here and I'm just gonna pop it in the water for about a minute. If it sinks to the bottom, um, usually if you make homemade dough, it'll sink to the bottom and then it sort of pops up to the top when it's ready, so. I just sort of put this in for about a minute or so. Um, I, I'm going to just do them one at a time, just because these bagels are, uh, sorry, these pretzels are a little bit on the larger side. So an option you can do, uh, so once you take these out, you're going to put them on a plate or you can put them directly onto your baking sheet if you want. They might be a little bit damp, that's okay. Um, we're going to put a little cinnamon sugar on them afterwards. An sort of a additional step that you can do if you really want a nice sort of goldeny brown, especially if you are making like salted bagels instead, is to use an egg wash. So just use about a tablespoon of water with one egg, whip it up, and then just sort of brush it on the top before you put it in the oven. So uh, my assistant has just informed me that it's been a minute. So now that it's been a minute, I'm going to take this out and transfer it over to my old guy here and we'll get all those started. Okay guys, so we did four. Uh, we ended up doing uh, a couple of the uh, baking soda kind and then just the ones that aren't. And as you can see, I don't know, the baking soda ones turned out kind of fluffier and nicer looking. So, uh, they are nice and they have some cream cheese in the middle. It didn't leak everywhere. So, uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I was thinking about it and they have some really good or they used to have really good like those jalapeno cheese 
uh, pretzels on the inside. So I was thinking, if you did the same recipe and you substituted um, the sweet cream cheese and you maybe put some like queso or some cheddar and jalapeno on the inside, that would be really good too if you wanted to make a savory pretzel. And then maybe just sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan um, or salt on top of it. So we hope you enjoyed this video of how to make the sweet cream cheese pretzel um, or sort of our interpretation of it. Um, we put out new videos every Friday. And if we talk to you next time, take care. Take care.